Let's talk a little bit about the concept of namespaces. A namespace, first of all, what is it mechanically? Very easy to understand what a namespace is mechanically. A tag name, as you've seen, is a name like, for example, uh, title. Right? It's the title of something. It's the word T-I-T-L-E. Um, what if there are two tags called title, and one is part of my schema, and another is part of somebody else's schema that I want to use? How would I know if they're both in the same instance? And by the way, you can do this, not a problem. You can use two schemas against a single instance. And some, so the most common example of that is some of my tags are going to be standard tags that lots and lots of people use across the entire world. Other tags are going to be just my tags that only I, only I use and only I know about. A great example of this is the Dublin Core. Dublin Core is a, is a set of tags that, um, uh, that describes standard attributes of any object, basically any resource on the web. It's title, it's authorship, uh, a basic description, some date information, that sort of thing. So these Dublin Core tags are shared across the entire world. And if someone else knows that you're using the Dublin Core tags, they know exactly what to do with your tag name. Just because I use the tag title doesn't mean that I can necessarily assume what to do with it. But if I use a Dublin Core tag, a specific Dublin Core tag, along with using that tag comes a lot of things that I'll get for free because I'm using a standard tag. Standard transformations, standard ways of aggregating the data across lots of resources, that kind of thing. Okay, so the basic dilemma that namespace is the answer to, the, the question is how do I disambiguate? How do I tell the difference between tags that come from different schemas? The answer is namespaces. So I have a tag, it's called title. And um, I'm pretty sure, at the moment I can't really, I'm not positive, but I'm pretty sure that um, I have a tag named title, and it's my title, it's Bob's title, versus it's the Dublin Core's title. The Dublin Core's title, I want to say, is different than the Bob's title. So how do I do that? Well, how do, if your first name was title, how would I say that you're a different title than the title in some other family? I'd give you a last name, right? I'd give you a family name. And that's how, that's how um, namespaces work as well. And the only difference between namespaces and a last name is that they actually come first. So I might say DC for Dublin Core colon title, and that would tell me that it's the title element for the Dublin Core. I'm not positive that the word is title in Dublin Core. It might be name or something else, but I'm pretty sure it's title. Okay, and then there's the Bob's title. So I would call it BOB colon title. Now I have a disambiguator, right? I have another string, another piece of text that tells me whose family this tag comes from. So that's what namespaces do. Basically, they say this tag comes from this schema. This tag comes from this family of tags, this schema. So when you're thinking about and using this tag, recognize that it's from this particular schema. So I can do different things. If I hit the Bob title, I can, I can transform it one way. When I hit the Dublin Core title, I can transform it a different way. Okay, so that's pretty much all you need to know about, about um, namespaces for this course. Namespaces are very important in general for reuse and in a relationship of, of different schemas and in the commercial world they're used quite a bit. In this course we're not going to use them because generally speaking we're not using any shared elements from other people's work. Um, but there's a couple of places where you'll see namespaces and that's mostly in our transforms and in our schemas. In our transforms you'll see a lot of things that say XS colon. So that's a family name that's specifically from uh, from our transforms. So all of our transform commands, I know you're not there yet necessarily, but all of our transform commands will say XS colon uh, value of, for example. The XS says that I'm from the transform schema. So when you're looking at me, transform processor, transform um, program, know that I'm not the user's tag, I'm not an HTML tag, I'm not anything, but a command in XSL. That's how the XSL machine, the XSL transform, the XSL processor knows which ones are commands and which ones are just ones that the user has put in that transform. Okay, so if you didn't understand that and you're in a, a, the less tech option, don't worry so much about it. You will see an XS colon namespace. The colon separates the namespace from the name of the tag. You'll also, if you, if you climb into our schemas, if you look at schemas in text view, you'll see an XSD namespace, which says this tag is from the schema uh, namespace. And so when you're interpreting this tag, whoever it is that interprets it, Oxygen or whoever else, know that it's from the, XS, uh, know that it's from the schema namespace. Okay, in summary, namespaces are family names for tags. They allow us to disambiguate which schema this particular tag came from. 
the, the namespace itself mechanically is designated by some word, it's a single word, colon, and then the name of the tag. If you ever see that single word, colon, the name of the tag, you'll know that the reason you're seeing it is because for some reason, in some way, someone's going to need to know where this namespace came from. Because I can have more than one schema that rules, that, that guides the tags that are in my, um, that are in my instance. Okay, and coming right back to the top, the reason we need to do that is because oftentimes we are using shared tags, tags that have been defined elsewhere that are not our own tags. However, in this class, most of the time we're just going to be using our own tags, so it's not much of an issue. Lots more that you can say or do with namespaces, but for now that's enough.